For the sauce, you need three cups of pineapple juice and three cups of orange juice. Mix this together and bring it to a boil. While that is boiling, you need to broil about six of the King's Hawaiian Original Rolls, flip them over once they're golden brown, and then let them cool. Let your juice boil, and once you reach the boil, you're gonna reduce it down to a nice simmer, and you're gonna cook it between one to two hours until you get it reduced by to about a third of where it's at right now. Once that's cooked down, you'll see it in a second, you're going to blend up your rolls. Now, I'm using a blender, you could use a food processor, you could also just use a bag and a rolling pin and just roll them out. They definitely blend better though when they are cool. They'll get to be about this texture here, and you're going to add about a cup of coconut. This is just an unsweetened basic coconut, you can use any kind you'd like, and then give it a nice stir. Once you've got this all stirred together, you can set it to the side until your juice dipping sauce is ready for cooling. As you can see here, I've got it in a nice good simmer, and this is what it looks like when it is ready to start cooling. Since I'm to that point, I've preheated my oven to 400 degrees and mixed together two eggs along with a quarter of a cup of water. This is going to be the egg wash that's going to adhere the breadcrumb mixture to the chicken. I've cut up three chicken breasts that are equal sizes, and starting down the assembly line, you're going to dip it in the egg and then roll it around in your breadcrumb coconut mixture and then put it on your cutting board, or your cutting board, <laughs> your cookie sheet. Once you've reached that point, you're going to salt all of the chicken breasts. So throw a nice, generous you know, amount of salt over the top to taste, it definitely needs it, but keep it to taste, and then throw them in the oven from anywhere between eight to maybe about 14 minutes. When they're done, they'll look like this. And as always, I would recommend cutting one open, the thickest piece, and making sure that it's cooked all the way through. Now from here, this is good to go to serve to the kids. However, not for the adults. You definitely have to add some chili paste to taste to the mixture. A little bit would also be suitable for the kids. Now, if you have leftover sauce, I would recommend making a salad dressing. All you need is a tablespoon of mustard, salt and pepper, and about a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. Then add three more parts of the juice. So about six more tablespoons of juice. Mix it all together and you have a delicious salad dressing. I hope you guys enjoy. Goodbye.